Right. So today I have the pleasure to uh, present you a, a study on cryptocurrency pump and dump schemes, which th this is the um, co-author paper with uh, Professor Benjamin Lifshitz from Imperial College London. My name is Jawa Xu from, um, um, oh, <laughs> yeah, my, um, I conducted this work uh, when I was a PhD student at the University of St. Gallen and a visiting uh, scholar at uh, Imperial College London. Right now, I am a postdoc at uh, EPFL. So how does pump and dump work? Um, in cryptocurrency, it is similar as in the conventional stock market. Uh, so pump and dump organizers, they will first set up a group. They will, they will advertise for um, touting the profit of pump and dump events um, and uh, recruiting pump and dump participants. Um, so they will set up a group and recruit um, approximately more than more than a thousand participants, let's say, in a cryptocurrency space. And then they will announce, they will, they will issue a pre-pump announcement. They will tell the group, uh, group participants when and where the pump will occur, and they will educate the participants about the rules of pump and dump. For example, you're supposed to act very fast, you're supposed to buy fast, buy at low price, and then you're supposed to hodl. Well, hodl means, you know, th that's the crypto jargon meaning um, holding. Um, the, 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 the currency that you're buying and not to sell too fast. And you're supposed to uh, shill or troll those, those coins, promote those coins in social network or chat box. And then comes the actual pump. So right before the pump, the group organizers, they, are, they usually issue this um, or send out this message, this OCR proof message to prevent uh, machine reading. So they will send this message and ask people to pump that specific coin. I don't know if you can read um, this screenshot clearly, but this, it says, enter the circled coin. So they have, they just want to fool you. They have three coins uh, in the message, but you are supposed to pump the CNO coin. So it is a bit confusing. So you are not supposed to, you know, machine read or automate um, the, the pump and dump process as, the, as a participant. Um, so yeah, after pump comes the dump, then the price will fall um, drastically. If we look at this specific pump and dump um, case study, um, this case study presents a um, specific pump and dump event that occurred in 2018, November 2018. It was on Cryptopia. I'll talk about Cryptopia a little bit more later on. So the, the coin, the target coin, was BVB. So what was BVB? It was a completely dormant coin. Like nobody knows, I don't think anybody uh, in this audience knows anything about BVB. So it was launched in 2000, uh, yeah, it was launched in 2016 and afterwards there were little activity you could observe from either GitHub or their tweet uh, or their Twitter account and they have a very low rating on Cryptopia. And this, ex exactly this type of coin is a target coin for pump and dump organizers because they can easily manipulate the market. So this chart shows the price movement of this BVB coin and you can see that um, prior to the pump, there's essentially no trading activity at all. Whereas at the, at the moment when the, uh, when, the, when the coin was announced, you will see a, a big trading volume surge and also a price surge. Um, so this chart shows a tick by tick uh, price movement of the BVB coin. Um, the coin was announced at um, 7, 7.30 p.m. And the first trade was already placed, essentially one second after the first announcement. And then after merely 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, the coin price already um, reached its peak. And then you will see um, the price decrease. So the whole um, process happened really, really fast. So in our study, we, we conducted also empirical analyses. We uh, look at more than 300 uh, telegram channels um, across um, that, that, con that um, conducted or, or organized pump and dump events across four exchanges. In total, we collected more than 400 pump and dump events um, that covered the period of eight months. Um, the 
uh, crypto exchanges that we looked into in our study are Binance, Bittrex, Cryptopia, and, and Ubit. Binance and Bittrex, those are big exchanges, and Cryptopia and Ubit, um, they are, well, let's, I think, to say that they're a little bit sh shady is, is, a, is an understatement. Um, and that's exactly what pump and dump organizers want. So here we can see the activities by exchange. Um, you'll see that um, in Binance and Bittrex, the activity is um, the, the pump and dump, Events are not as active as in Cryptopia and, and Ubit, but you know each type of exchanges they have their own, um, let's say perks. For big exchanges, you can create a, um, you can, you can attract a large um, number of uh, large number of traders because of their large user base. Whereas in small um, crypto exchanges, a lot of you know. Um, well, not so, not so high profile. We call them shit coins are listed on those, on those exchanges and they are very easily to be uh, manipulated just with a little bit of a trading volume. The price can be easily moved. And we can also see that um, empirically a lot of coins are pumped more than once. And here is this chart shows the fake trading volume basically generated by those uh, pump and dump events. So those are not uh, genuine trading volume by um, long-term oriented uh, cryptocurrency investors. Those are um, speculators um, participating in pump and dump events that are, that are just seeking short-term gain. By short-term, I mean essentially only a few seconds. So we'll see that prior to the pump, the normal volume um, for three hours, um, that was 900, um, average 900, uh, 900 Bitcoin, 900 BTC. Whereas during the pump hours, the, the volume is nine times as much as the normal volume. That's over 8,000 uh, Bitcoins generated by pump and dump events. And in this chart, we show all the uh, pump and dump events that we collected. Um, all the events you can see from this interactive um, website um, annotated. You'll see you'll see every single event and the the price height, uh, the price, the, the the pumped price, as well as um, the, the the price decrease after after pump and dump. So. Um, what is the profit for admins? In this table, we show that um, the admins, well, we ha do have some um, assumptions to estimate the, the, the profit for uh, pump and dump organizers. As you know that pump and dump organizers, they do have the insider information. They know which uh, cryptocurrency to, to pump, and then they announce those coins. So for the profit, so the, for admins, they'll be able to buy those coins prior to the pump at a low price. And then after they announce the, the, announce the coin that, that is to be pumped and all the uh, pump and dump participants rush into buying the currency, buy the, buy the coin, um, pushing the price to a record high, and then they will sell those coins to you know, the pump and dump participants. So a lot of those participants are actually victims of the pump and dump events. They thought that they will be faster than other investors. They can, they can, they can you know, buy low and sell high, but at the end of the day, they're actually the victims of uh, pump and dump admins. So with those assumptions that those admins can buy prior to the pump, uh, to, to the pump and dump event, and they can sell at a high price, um, we estimate that all in all, um, within within eight months, the the aggregate profit for the admins um, is 200 uh, Bitcoin. Um, in terms of USD, that is approximately well back then it's probably one million, and right now uh, Bitcoin is worth what 10 10 grand. So that's that's like two million in total um, within a span of eight months. So what do we want to do? as retail investor to counteract. Well, maybe there is information hidden in the um, you know, market price or in the features of coins that we can observe and to predict um, which coin will be, will be pumped. So 
um, in this slide, we show the features that we uh, choose to, 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 to analyze. This, a, a little disclaimer here, this is not a machine learning paper, but we show that with just very rudimentary machine learning method, you will be able to predict um, which coin will be pumped in a cryptocurrency exchange. So for example, uh, market cap is a very good indicator um, because as I mentioned before, um, uh, coins with a small, small market cap, they are easily, um, the price, their price is easily, can be easily moved. Um, the, the trading volume can be easily manipulated. And we can also, we can, we can, here we have also a chat showing that um, some, uh, some admins, they will, they will specifically choose um, a, a, a cryptocurrency with a very, very small market cap. And also um, it, from empirical analysis, we can also see that a, a majority, the majority of pumped coins, um, they have a market cap of below um, 100 Bitcoins. And also return volatility from this time series, we can see that prior to the pump, um, we can see a little hike of, of the price. And that is, we assume, we hypothesize, caused by uh, pump organizers. They use their insider information to pre-hoard those coins, therefore lifting the, um, the, 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 the orders and then um, you know, driving the, the price to, to, to go up even prior to the pump. And when, um, when pump and dump participants, the innocent participants enter um, the market, they are already actually entering um, with the price that is already lifted by the um, by the pump and dump uh, organizers who has who who have the um, insider information. And then we use yeah this is simple very simple machine learning method. Uh, we split our sample into training, validation, and test sample, and we just want to see with all those features we collected using um, both random forest and a GLM to see if we can use the most conventional um, uh, machine learning methods, if we can predict the probability of pumped coin. And this slide shows the hyperparameter specification of uh, random forest and GLM. And even with the most basic machine learning method, the, the, the result is actually astonishing. So we actually get, this is already the validation for the validation sample. I skipped the chart for a training sample because it looks similar. We have very good result with AUC um, above um, 90%. And with the final test, um, we have, this is a bit more detail, with the final test, we can just, just with the calibrated model, we can find, um, detect um, nine coins um, that will be pumped. And all of them, um, we can detect nine, nine coins that we will pump, uh, that we will purchase prior to, prior to uh, the pump and dump event. And they will all be pumped. So with this calibrated model, we can formulate also a, a trading strategy for innocent traders. They can basically use the model um, to, 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 to use, the, use the predicted probability to find out which coin they're supposed to purchase even before the pump and dump. So it's basically, it's basically like scam the scammers. What's the purpose of it? That's something that we're going to discuss later on. So by basically scamming the scammers, you can see that you can, you can, you can predict the pumped coins even prior to the, to the coin announcement so that you do not have to fall for, um, uh, for victim as, uh, of, the, of the pump and dump organizers. And you can have a very good uh, performance of above 60% of the return um, within a time span of two and a half months. And so some caveats. Uh, we do not consider order book data. We do not consider trade and a trade, a trade by trade data. These are all can be considered as features in the uh, in the machine learning method, and the trading strategy. That, um, there's also a huge room for improvement. Um, so the conclusion is basically that um, the pump and dump events are still permeating the cryptocurrency um, space. 
Um, it is a fraudulent activity um, in the United States, but unfortunately, you know, in the cryptocurrency space, a lot of organizers are all of, out of um, the U.S. jurisdiction. So for retail investors, we should trade smartly. Just use the very rudimentary machine learning method. You'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to counteract. You'll be able to um, basically really profit from, from trading uh, cryptocurrency instead of, instead of falling for the scams of pump and dump uh, organizers. Um, if I have um, one minute, I just want to show you real quick a real pump and dump event that I recorded recently. So this was um, organized by Donald Pump. <laughs> I know the, the, the name is hilarious. So this event um, uh, was recorded in late June. Um, so you can see that on the uh, right on the right hand side, it's the Telegram chat. So prior to uh, the pump, you will have a countdown. Um, the organizer of Donald Pump will be like, "Okay, we have 10 minutes to go. We have five minutes to go. Everybody, please get prepared. P please have your, um, you know, your screen open. Please have your funds trans uh, transferred into your Ubit uh, wallet." And then at um, Yes, and then at six o'clock sharp, they, they, they post this uh, coin that is supposed to be pumped. So I entered that coin. I, I didn't really purchase the coin. I just want to see how the price would move. So this study, to give you a little bit more background, this study, um, the paper was conducted um, end of last year. Um, so this is basically just a follow-up. This, this screenshot is not included in the paper. This is basically a follow-up investigation of how it looks right now, currently in the cryptocurrency space. And you can see that after the coin announcement, we only see three, okay, four buy orders. So it's pretty silent. So people are not doing it anymore, actually. People don't fall for this anymore. I will totally take credit for this because I just feel that after, after the, our paper is issued, just less and less, um, fewer and fewer people are, are active in this, um, in this scam um, or in this you know, pump and dump activity anymore. I think people are getting aware of this and know that this is not a profitable thing to do. And, you know, if you, if you do this in a smart way, if you um, use machine learning, so on and so forth, to, sorry, to, to, to um, you know, buy the currencies and not have the, um, the organizers uh, glean all the profit, then that you are actually pushing uh, the cryptocurrency market into a more healthier uh, uh, equilibrium. Sorry. So um, as we can see, that pump and dump, um, that pump and dump event was not very successful. We had only f um, four orders. So what would happen in the Donald Pump um, chat? So they basically deleted everything. So they basically deleted the trace of that whole history. If you see, you can see that this chat um, was from May fifth uh, of May, and afterwards. Um, uh, 6th of August. So between May and August, did they post anything? They certainly did, but they just deleted all the bad performance. So we just want to warn uh, retail investors out there that this is uh, definitely a scam and do not fall for it. Uh, now, I know I'm a bit over time, but <laughs> maybe we still have some time for one or two questions. Thank you very much. Hi. So yeah, I think we have time for maybe just one quick question. Hi, I'm Saad from UCF, and really interesting talk, uh, especially the last part. I was really interested in real-time detection of pump and dump schemes, and um, one of the problems that we see with that is you need to have some <laughs> some knowledge beforehand to be able to see that this this activity Definitely. is going to happen. Definitely, yeah, you need you need a, a right. real-life uh, market data, exactly. which can be collected by well, if you you are willing to invest in some money, there there is um, commercial API out there. But in our paper, for research purposes, we just use free free API. Right. So, do you think that that this activity sort of leaves some footprint on the on the cryptocurrency network itself? the blockchain network in mm -hmm. particular, that there are some footprints that can be used without this a priori knowledge and can be used to characterize mm -hmm. an activity that is ongoing in real time. Uh, yes, I think what you're talking about is blockchain forensics. That's another yeah. topic. But this ha um, the pump and dump events, they, they take place in crypto uh, um, exchanges. Then they are mostly off-chain transactions. So you cannot really detect those um, just by downloading the blockchain ledger. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.